Hi Foxy friends, this is Sarah from Foxy's Domestic Side and today I'm going to share with you my life-changing hair products. A couple of years ago, I decided that my New Year's resolution was going to be how to do my hair. I was going to figure out how to do my hair, I was going to do different hairstyles each week and just try and figure it out because I usually wore in a ponytail, up or half up and I never curled it, I didn't do anything with it. So I decided I was going to learn how to do my hair. In doing so, I bought a ton of hair products. I tried everything. I went out initially and bought just like 20 bottles of different kinds of things that I kind of researched and kind of found that people were using to do their hair. These are 10 products that I absolutely love. I'm going to share them with you right now. The first product is my favorite shampoo and conditioner. I unfortunately do not have the conditioner right now because I just ran out and I don't have it right now, but I do have a bottle of my favorite favorite shampoo called hair food and the conditioner is also the hair food. I like the kiwi fragrance. It does come in different scents, I think, but I've always bought the kiwi flavor. Actually, the reason why I bought this was because it was on the cartwheel at Target and Funny enough, when I went through to buy it, I forgot to use the cartwheel, so I ended up paying full price for it, but it turns out that it was a blessing in disguise because this is the absolutely best shampoo ever. It says that it's silicone-free, paraben-free, mineral oil-free. I just really like it because it works really well with the next thing on the list, which is this Amica dry shampoo. This dry shampoo is amazing. I've tried several dry shampoos. I've tried cheap, I've tried expensive, I've tried middle of the road, and this one by far is the best one out there. I just think it works really, really well. What I do is I put the dry shampoo in my hair and I let it sit for a couple minutes. So I'll like put it in, go to the bathroom, brush my teeth or something, and then I kind of work it into my roots. So I feel like that works the best because it kind of gives a chance for the oils to absorb into the dry shampoo so when you run your fingers through it, it kind of dispels all the oil and it works wonders. I do do it at night before I go to bed because I wake up so early in the morning and I don't want to wake up mister with my dry shampoo in the aerosol can so I do do it at night but it works just as good if you do it in the morning. So this is my favorite dry shampoo. Next up is a relatively new product. I got it a few months, maybe a month or two ago and it is the It's a 10 Hair Mask. I had been looking for a hair mask for a while now. I used to use a different hair mask. I will link it down below what it is. The reason why I got it was I needed to get to free shipping for something on Ulta. And I thought, I need a hair mask. Let's find one. So this is the one I picked out. And it is fantastic. I really, really like it. It leaves my hair soft and silky. And it just kind of takes away all that grit and grime that you kind of build up over the weeks and stuff. I don't do it every week. I wish I did. Um, I just forget to use it and I'm usually in a hurry trying to get at my shower in before the kids wake up or need something from me. Um, so I do try and use it once a month, but ideally I'd like to use it once a week. I do highly recommend this hair mask if you're looking for a good hair mask. It is a little on the pricier side. I can't remember how much it was. I think it was like $20, but it is worth every penny and I don't you don't have to use that much of it in order to get the results that you want. And the next up is, like I said before, I only wash my hair like every four to five days. Um, so in the meantime, so that my hair doesn't dry out, I like to use this Moroccan oil. I bought this little tiny bottle um, from the cash wrap, I guess, as you're going through Sephora. So they do carry little tiny bottles like this. So it wasn't that expensive. I think it was seven or eight dollars. So you can kind of test how it is. And if you can see, I don't know if you can see, I haven't used that much of it and I've had it for a while now, like at least eight or nine months I've had it probably. And I have, I just use a little tiny bit in my hand, maybe like a nickel size worth. And I just use it on the tips of, you know, like from my chin down. I don't use it in the roots because I don't want to get greasy hair. If you're trying to extend your hair wash, I do do that on the ends of my hair in between washes. I try to do it daily, but it ends up being like a couple times a week. But I do feel like it helps with the split ends and the dryness of your hair because, because you're not washing it every day. The next thing on the list is something that when I started trying to do my hair more intentionally, I discovered that you you can buy better bobby pins than the ones at the grocery store that you get at Target or CVS or anything. Those ones, if you feel the, that compared to what I'm going to show you, it's a night and day difference. So I use these bobby pins right here. They're from Diane and I get them from Amazon. I'm sure you can probably find really good bobby pins at um, like Sally's Beauty Supply. But uh, as you can see, this is mostly empty. Um, I bought this in 2016 and it's still going strong. You can see that I'm like down to the last few here, but um, I don't use them that much anymore because I don't do my hair as much. I probably should, but I don't. As you can see, it's just a thicker bobby pin. 
so um, you can't really tell but just trust me when I tell you that you need better bobby pins. This is the thicker and it's more sturdy and it's gonna hold your hair better than the ones from the grocery store. Also, there is a correct way to use a bobby pin and if you didn't know, you wanna use this bobby pin so the ridges are down, so that it grips your hair like this. So that's how you wanna use a bobby pin. Another thing that I found that is really awesome when you're doing your hair and I know that everyone sees it, so when you see someone doing their hair and their hair is perfect and there's no flyaways, like right now I have a ton of flyaways, this dry wax is amazing. I Before I had started doing my hair, I had no idea what dry wax was. I didn't know it existed. There is a dry wax and there's a gel wax, uh, gel form of it. So I use the gel form when I'm doing braids and I want the flyaways not to kind of fly out of my braid. And I use this for like, if I'm doing my hair like this, um, like you can see that I have some flyaways here so you can spray this on like this and it kind of tames those flyaways like that. I use this dry wax um, after, usually after I finish a hairstyle to kind of tame those flyaways down and kind of make everything look a little bit more put together. And you can't have a really good hairstyle usually without curls. So these are the curls I did today. And in order to do curls and it protect your hair from all the heat that you're using, I like to use this Paul Mitchell Hot Off The Press. Um, it's a really light mist. I'm almost out of this, but it's really light. You can barely feel it on your hair when you're putting it on and it doesn't get wet like some um, heat protectants. It kind of gets wet and then you have to wait for it to dry. But this one is really light and airy and you don't really have to do much besides spray it on and you can start styling right away. And I feel like when I use this, it lasts a lot longer on my curls than if I just if I use a different one. So I've used several of these heat protectants over the years trying to find the best one and I find that this Paul Mitchell one is the best for curls. So I spray it in my hair, I do my curls, I hairspray it, and then after I hairspray it, I leave the curls and I don't touch them until everything is completely cooled off. So then I'll go do my makeup or I'll go do something with the kids or do do anything for maybe 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, and then I run my fingers through my hair to kind of separate the curls. And I find that my curls will last a few days. I mean, obviously the curls get looser as the days go on, but it does make my curls last a lot longer. The next great product for doing your hair is this texturizing spray. Sometimes when you're doing your hair, you have just washed your hair, you have really clean, slippery hair, and you can't do anything with it because it's so clean. So what this is gonna do is it's going to kind of give you a little bit of dirt and grit without feeling like your hair is dirty. Um, this is also another Amica product. I don't know if any of you know what texturizing spray is, but it's something that when your hair is clean and you need to do your hair, you wanna do your hair, and your hair is too clean to do anything and it's too slippery to braid, you can use this product in it to help you kind of get that dirty feel without actually feeling dirty. So it'll give your hair some texture. It also helps for people with thin hair to help kind of lift you at the roots. So I will show you. You can kind of spray it in the roots like this and it kind of lifts your hair a little bit. So I would spray it like this and it'll kind of lift your hair and give it some volume and body. So that's what I use this for. You don't have to use a lot of it. It does work really awesome. If you can see, my hair is kind of like more puffy. And you can use as much or as little as you want just to kind of give you that little bit of lift or to give you that dirt and grime that you need to do your hair. So the next up is my curling wand. Before I discovered curling wands, I used a regular curling iron with a clip and I would curl it and my curls would last maybe an hour if I was lucky. But with a curling iron, I maybe, I don't know what the difference is. Maybe it gets hotter, maybe it just works different. I don't know what it is. Maybe it wasn't using the right curling iron. But my curls last forever with a curling wand. I happened to buy the Numi Lustrium um, five pack of curling ones. I did, you know, I just Googled a coupon code and a coupon code comes up. Most of the YouTubers out there have their own coupon code to get these for a discounted price. I know you can always get them on sale. You don't have to get this five pack. In all honesty, out of these five wands, I only use this one, this one, and this one. These two, I've tried to use and I just don't feel like it does anything for me. I, it makes my hair look really crazy and I don't know how people use them. And usually when I'm curling my hair, I don't want to have to wash my hair to get the curls out and so I'm just kind of scared to try them. I did try them once and neither time worked out. Um, so, but this one, this one comes in a little roll like this. I just happen to keep the box because it's easier to store. I don't know, kind of crazy like that. So it comes in this little roll 
It comes with the glove that just found, fell out. Um, you don't have to use a glove, but I like to use a glove so I can go faster and I don't have to be as careful at burning myself. Um, so then each of the wands are in each of these pockets. I use the 25 millimeter barrel like this one. Um, I find that when I use the 25 millimeter barrel, my curls do not last as long. It only lasts a day and I don't get a next use out of it the next day. I haven't figured out how to get them to work and I know that this works. The day three curls of these curls is exactly what the 25 millimeter curls does for me on day one. So I just have to wait for day three to get those curls. So it's not a big deal to me. Um, and I really like this, this curling wand. If you don't know how to use it, I did do a video on two different ways on how to curl your hair. So I will link that in the I card up here. And last but not least is the hairspray I use. I know you guys have been dying to know what I've been using. Not really. I use the Tresemme Strongholds. I really like this. This is actually the end of my second bottle. It's, I'm almost out of it and I need to go buy another one. I really like this one the best. I've used a whole bunch of different hairsprays and I feel like this one is the most lightweight with the strongest hold and it doesn't give your hair that crunchy feeling if you're using a lot of it. Um, so I just I really like this one the best and I think it holds everything really well So those two products together for me work the best I do feel like everyone needs to find what works best for their hair because what works for me might not work for you So you just find what you works for you You're gonna have to try a lot of things maybe borrow stuff from friends and try it for a week to see if it works for you um, But just find what works for you and have fun doing your hair Those are all of my current favorite hair products if you like this video give it a thumbs up Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye Hi. Hi Foxy friends. This is Foxy from Set. Another thing that I found that was oh, this hair is ridiculous. <laughs>